The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Does anyone actually know what's going on here? I literally have no idea. Help. <laughs> We're, We're 20 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Media IRL is back, and we're showing up bigger, better, and louder than ever. Join us on May 4th in Austin, Texas, for the ultimate live podcasting experience. Watch and learn from your favorite Dear Media hosts as they bring their insightful discussions from your headphones to the stage. Get ready to be inspired, entertained, and watch audio get a makeover. Tickets are on sale now at dearmedia.com slash IRL. See you on May 4th in Austin. In Texas. Hi. Hey. Hello, and welcome back to 20 Whatever. Listen, today's a special day. Okay. A special day. A day for no tears. <laughs> <laughs> no tears left to cry today. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good. Heard. <laughs> Glad you're here. Are you here? Are we all here together? Or get the tissues. <laughs> get, get the tissues. But it's going to be a special episode because Happy tears. today is the last day that Sierra will be with us on the couch before her wonderful maternity leave. Oh, it is. Oh my and gosh. when this episode goes out, I will have had this baby. Oh That's crazy to think gosh. about. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I know. Oh my God. I know. I didn't even forget about that part. Me like, she's going on maternity leave. That means to that have means the baby. That means there's a, a child. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, And honestly, it can't come soon enough. (laughs) I am like... That part. You guys heard me huffing and puffing coming up. I came up the stairs. I had to sit here and like recover for a couple minutes before we started filming. (laughs) God, I'm so tired. I feel... I feel like I've hit that point now where I feel huge. Mm -hmm. And like I... I'm like bumping into things and I waddle everywhere and I'm just like God. Not the waddle. I'm checking the watch. Like, right, right, right. Eviction notice. Oh. Right. It's time for you to go. Yes. Has there been a Grace asking a little bit more like when or does she just know that it's coming so she doesn't really like follow up often? She does. She knows the date okay. of the scheduled C-section mm-hmm. and so she knows that that's, you know, her sister's birthday and oh right yeah isn't that weird right. that i know that the birthday yeah right right that's literally what birthday means yeah isn't it Your weird when you birthday think about that? yes yeah. because birthday is like a word it's yeah. not like a thing I, it, you know it almost feels alien when you separate the birth from the day right right like happy birthday happy life year happy like it yeah totally which is why I like those videos when you hear like the nurses being like happy birthday as the kids being born i'm like that I I'm like yes, but yes, but like no. weird. Like it's. I mean, I guess it is the baby's birthday. Happy birthday! Let's tell like, it. Like happy birthday! I don't know. It just, <laughs> let's tell no, it. Yeah, <laughs> not, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, me no, wa- yeah. 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 I sang a happy birthday to Grace while they were like stitching me up. Oh, I'm screaming! You did. Oh my I did. God, that's yeah. so sweet. Oh my God, that's cute. Yeah, I had this. I I like. I knew in my head, like, oh, I want to like celebrate her birthday as like a birthday right. in the hospital and like some a way. birth day. day. Like that yeah. is quite literally her first. Like uh, the birth, it is the birthday that then you celebrate, right? So then, when like the the more stressful part of the C section had wrapped up and she was out, and you know they had brought her up to me and she was sitting right there, and I had seen her for the first time, and I just started singing Happy Birthday. Good for you. So (laughs) so sweet. I mean, you were here enough to sing a song, and that's joyous. So Stephen's like. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> He's like, I've just seen a lot, and now we're singing happy birthday. What a day. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> he had, like, a really hard time kind of, like, processing things right away after Grace was born mm-hmm. because it all happened pretty fast. It was, like, 10 minutes from when they told me that I needed a C-section to being, like, in the operating room, mm-hmm. which that is the difference between having, like, a, an unscheduled C-section, which is what I had with Grace, and an emergency C-section, is I got that 10 minutes. Right. So I signed the paperwork, oh. and Steven got in the scrubs, and then they wheeled us off, and a, a true emergency it's C-section. Like, we're not fucking talking, we're handling it now. Yeah, no got one's it. telling you what's going on in your I gut line. see. Oh, my goodness. So That's I, scary. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I think that was scary, too, right? The unplannedness of it all? It was, but I can't imagine the stress of a true, like, emergency mm-hmm. C-section. I got a little bit of that time, like, to process it for a minute but steven was like 
on another planet when all of that was going on and because he was trying to hold it together for me right. and then Grace came in and then all of a sudden he realized he like hadn't eaten and felt like he was going to pass out and like oh my god right because he was holding it all together during all of this going on and then finally we're like in the recovery room and he's like I am I need to lay down on the floor oh right my god. right he's right. like and he it's ate, happening yeah he ate like five packs of fruit snacks <laughs> right right <laughs> <laughs> like Right. I wish I could see that. Just I, like, I see it on the ground. We're like, good. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. It's fine. Everyone's healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The baby's that. here. My the wife's here. Good. 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 Your, your POV is you, your husband lays down on the floor and you can't get up to look or anything. So you're just hearing him unwrap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my mom was like, I, I wasn't looking at Steven. I was, you know, holding Grace. And all of a sudden my mom goes, Steven, are you, like, sit down. Are you okay? Like, are you okay? He went oh like God. white. Oh, and, God, what's happening? Yeah, he was like, and also like, now talking to him about that, like, mentally, it took him, like, a couple hours to be, like, okay, this all happened. Mm-hmm. Everything's fine. Yeah. Like, so I think it was a combination of, like, the physical stress and the mental stress. Right. But it was, like, so chaotic. I'm, like, this time it's going to be a little different. Yeah. Right. Because I know the day we're going to, as long as I don't go into spontaneous labor beforehand, we're going to roll up together knowing what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, like, I think this is going to be a different experience for me, for sure, but also... Right. For you. <laughs> right. I have right. a question yeah. about this unplanned C-section business. Yes. So you were at the hospital. Yep. Because it was your due date and you were like having contractions and stuff. Like you were already there with it. No. So I had an induction. Oh. So I was um, a week past my due date and I went to an appointment and my doctor was like, you have, you're not dilated. You're not progressing. I was Still? Having, yeah. Oh. Not at all. Oh. Like, and I was having contractions. They were doing nothing. Like, usually contractions would dilate you. So she's like, you know, we can give it a couple more days, but, like, you really can't go that much longer. Like, because once you get to, like, 41 and a half or 42 weeks, the issues that can arise from a birth do go up. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I see. it's that balance of, like, they don't want you to be pregnant too long, mm-hmm. but also they don't want to rush to an induction because inductions do have, like, higher rates of, you know, other issues. Okay. And so my doctor was like, you know, let's get an induction on the books as like a backup. And so we scheduled my induction for like two or three days, I think, past my due date. And then it got pushed another day because the hospital was really busy that day. Mm. So by the time and then my induction. So I go in for the induction. You know, they do all the medications and things and they stick like a balloon in your cervix and like inflate it to like manually dilate you. Oh, oh, that was the most painful part. Of my labor. That's what I was like, epidural! Right. Ep- epidural, I'm As done. Fu- oh. Can I drink it? Like, what are we doing? Oh yeah. my gosh, that sounds strange. Yeah, <gasps> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break and hear a word from our sponsor. Spring into stress-free eating with Factors chef-crafted meals delivered straight to your door. Each meal is fresh, never frozen, and ready to enjoy in just two minutes, so you can spend more time on what matters most to you. Last night, I came home really late from an audition, and I was able to quickly heat up the Parmesan and sun-dried tomato chicken penne, and it really hit the spot in just what my body needed. With Factor, you get to indulge in gourmet dishes featuring premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, truffle butter, broccolini, asparagus, Perfect for those of you seeking a culinary adventure without the hassle. And as I mentioned before, Factor Meals are the epitome of convenience. No prep, no cooking, and no cleanup required. Simply heat and savor the goodness. Customize your weekly menu to fit your lifestyle with the flexibility to adjust servings based on your needs. And pause or reschedule deliveries effortlessly to suit your schedule. Join Factor in celebrating Earth Month with their Earth Month Eats, highlighting meals with the lowest carbon footprint on the menu. Head to factormeals.com slash whatever50 and use code whatever50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code whatever50 at factormeals.com slash whatever50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. So then (laughs) by the time I actually gave birth because I was late my induction was pushed back and then uh it took my induction took 60 hours Mm. grace was almost 42 weeks by the time she was born what do you mean your induction took 60 hours 
from when I got there to be induced to when they made the call for the scheduled C-section was 60 hours. That's a long and time. Of trying to get labor started in my body. Well, right. and how long what were you fuck? having contractions leading up to that, too? Because that's even, like, you weren't sleeping. Yeah, like, two weeks. I was having, like, they call it prodromal labor. Mm. So it's basically labor. Like, I went to the hospital at one point because I was like, these contractions are close together. Right. They hook you up to a little machine where they can see the contractions, and they're like, yeah, you're having regular contractions, you're close together, but it's not doing anything. Mm. Your your cervix isn't dilating. Why? And one of the great mysteries of life. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right, right, right. I, I don't know if it's truth or myth, but I feel like that happens a lot with um, first-time people giving birth because your body's never also had that experience before and like mm. hormones dumps and all of that kind of stuff right yeah i think on average first time moms usually go like at least three days over their due date so it's mm. it's pretty common to go over your due date right but for me it had been so long and my body wasn't responding to anything so when i went into labor well when i went in for the induction for right. them to start labor they started me for they have like you know a list of things that they do in order of like trying to get labor started. So I had, like, I started on an oral medication, Mm -hmm. and then it was, um, like, an IV fluid uh, called Pitocin that causes, like, regular contractions. And then it was, like, the Foley bulb, which is the balloon thing they put in your cervix. Oh, boy. Tragic. Do they do that to everyone, or can you skip that one if you... (laughs) Right. Right. Like, and is like, this a part of... Like, is this mandatory? Yeah. Well, none of it is mandatory, right? Like, right. you're an active participant in your care. It, is, it was highly right, right, recommended. Right. In the future, I would get the epidural before the Foley bulb. Got Thank it. you for no, that. There no, won't be that no, in the future for that. me, because... Right. right. Like I said, I'm rolling in, and they're cutting me open. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. And question, yeah. what are contractions like? Because I know they're like, oh, oh, okay, I can feel the contraction. What's the feeling? Like when we get cramps we on like, our period? Yeah. Yeah. Or? The weirdest thing is they are kind of similar to period cramps, which I did not oh. think at all. Oh. Right. Um, it's kind of the feeling oh. of a period cramp plus, like, tightening. Okay. Like, oh, okay, like in your, like, abdominals, like yes. in your stomach. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, for me, it was, like, a period cramp plus, like, this kind of, like, very tight feeling. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, and then, you know, those can range from, like, just, like, period cramps to something that's right. pretty minor to something that's pretty major. Yeah. Right. Can you feel dilation? You probably... Eh, that's a good question. Not for me, because oh, right, by the time because... I started dilating, I had the epidural. Yeah, okay. right, right, right. Um, but I don't know if other people can. What right. was the epidural experience like? Because that's the part of birth that's always, like, seemed the most ominous to me. Oh, yeah. yeah like and in, I don't hate movies. needles, but it just seems like a lot. Yeah. yeah. And the way movies yeah. put it is, like, so. Yeah, so give so, it to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was scared of the epidural because, like, big needle, mm-hmm. you know, being numb, all of those things. Mm-hmm. I also wanted to labor naturally as long as I could before needing the epidural, especially because inductions tend to take longer than regular labor. Gotcha. And the longer you're on an epidural, it can have increased risk. So I was like, let me see how long I can go. Because mm-hmm. I was having painful contractions, but I was like, I, this I can manage. Mm-hmm. And it was the Foley bulb that I was like, peace out. And we're done. Yep. Yep. Thank you so much. Um, Think goodbye and good night. Yep, yep. Exactly. <laughs> so by the mm. time I asked for the epidural, I was in so much pain that I didn't even have a thought about any of the fears I had had for the epidural. Right. right. It was like, I literally don't care. Yes. <laughs> this was like, it's like a need. Like, yes. at this point, gotcha. Mm. And then I fell asleep because I had also not been sleeping. Mm. So, and all of a sudden, all this pain is gone. Oh. I'm sleeping. And I'm comfy yeah. in bed. Yeah. 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 Night, night. Night, right. night. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She's uh, like, wait a minute. Shit. Hold on a second. Right. Yeah. I feel good. For <laughs> and you probably, Ooh. like you said, contracting, you've been like so tight, you know, like it's just Getting like. some relief. It's yeah. like when you clench your butthole. Yeah. You're just like <laughs> finally unclench and you're like. And the period cramps uh, are like lightning uh, yeah. and you're just like holding your shit Hold, together. Yep. Yep. And then it goes away and you're like, okay. Yeah. Unclench the butthole. Yeah. My yeah. butthole was very unclenched. Oh, finally. Good. 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 But this time I will not have an epidural because when you have a scheduled c-section or you have a c-section where you hadn't had an epidural yet okay they typically do a spinal block gotcha which is just like a different variation of numbing but um the spinal block the way my doctor explained it to me is going to be nips down okay so whereas the epidural is more like kind of like mid-waist down um so i've heard that some people do kind of 
panic a little bit at that feeling. Mm. So I'm just trying to prepare myself for the mindset of like. Not nips down. Right? I feel like we didn't have to say it. I'm glad she did though. That's literally how my doctor said it. She was like, so from your nipples down, you will be numb. I'm like, the nipple? That's a specific. So specific. Ryan, stop laughing at the word nipple. It's It's science. It's health class. I know. Middle school. Ah, Nipples. (laughs) Okay. So yeah, so this time I'll, I'll go to the hospital. Right. I'll arrive two hours before my scheduled surgery time, and they'll do all the intake and get me settled and then do the spinal block, and then woohoo. And obviously, you're awake for this. You are, yes. Right, because... However, they almost had to put me under for my C-section. Really? With Grace. Yeah, I was panicking. Oh. Um, I was having phantom pain. Mm. So they had confirmed that I was fully numb. Right. And then they do the, do you feel this? Do you feel this? I'm like, "I I I think I feel it. I think I feel it. Right. Right. And um, actually, the doctor said to Stephen, pulled Stephen aside, the anesthesiologist, and he was like, hey, um, we're going to give her about, like, another minute or two to, like, see if she, you know, like settles down. down. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but if not, we have to get going with this. And so we'll, we're going to put her under, but we're not going to tell her. Ooh, fuck. And so <sighs> then he had to be like, I have to convey to Sierra that we, like, she needs to calm down or otherwise, like. She's like gonna yeah, miss but it, without basically. telling her yeah. that. Oh yeah. my oh fucking my god. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's why he needed to lay down. Yeah, right? he, was, <laughs> he was so stressed. Shit! He's oh like, my we're god. gonna do what? And we're not gonna tell. Oh yeah. boy! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! So he not this tea. When there's a, a sheet up, right? <laughs> oh right, right. So on one shoulder I have <laughs> Stephen, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and on the other shoulder I have the anesthesiologist, okay. who Stephen said was just shooting me full of everything. He's like, I have no idea, like. It, it, usually, you know, usually when they're like, okay, we're about to give you this. Right. But it was so many different things of just like, <laughs> like so many needles oh in my arms. God. And Steven's he was like, like, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. He's just, we're good. Yeah. Oh so Steven God. said to me, you know, he was like, hey, 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 we like, I promise you, you're not feeling this. They've tested it. You're not feeling it. You're you know, getting in your head. Let's take some deep breaths. And I was like, okay, I'm ready. Like, let's do this. And um, honestly, both Steven and I credit the anesthesiologist so much. He was an angel on this earth. He was like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes doctors, especially doctors in a specialty like that, an anesthesiologist, can be a little cold. Mm. This man was so warm and so encouraging. And he was standing right there. And you hear him, like, in our, you know, video of of the birth, you can hear him, like, you got this, mom. Like, you're doing so Mm. well. Oh, she's beautiful. Like, here she comes, like, coaching me through it. And Steven said the whole time while going... All these different medicines in my arm. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Bless this man. Yeah. Oh, Oh my God. So he was an angel on this earth. Um, And hopefully I won't need all of that now. This is a perfect time to hear a word from our sponsor. Okay, guys, it is almost summer, so it's time to say goodbye to the jackets and the sweaters and hello to the shorts and the t-shirts. I knew I wanted to update my wardrobe for summer, but what I didn't want to do was get pieces that weren't going to last the rest of the summer, let alone year after year. So now I've got some high quality, timeless pieces that'll keep me looking effortlessly chic year after year. I love that Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices and premium fabrics and finishes. And by partnering directly with top factories, Quince cuts the cost of the middleman and passes the savings right to us. The best part is that all of Quince's items are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. So you can get premium European linen dresses, blouses, and shorts starting at $30. There's also washable silk tops, timeless 14 karat gold jewelry, and so much more. I ended up getting the seven inch ultra soft bike shorts in heather green. I really like this color. They had so many cute colors and I just think the seven inches is perfect. I really like the quality of these. They don't ride up and they don't roll down, which is something that always happens with my bike shorts. So I am so happy to have these. I got them for $24.90. I also got the tinsel rib knit tank midi dress in the color dark olive for $49.90. Such a great price for a dress I know that I'll have for years to come. Go to quince.com slash 20 whatever for free shipping on your first order and three 365 day returns. That's Q U I N C E dot com slash 20 to get free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince dot com slash 20. That's Q U I N C E dot com slash 20 to get free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince dot com slash 20. 
So, whoa, that's kind of how things went down the first time. And also a big reason that I chose to have a scheduled C-section this time because I, my doctor was like, you, based on my factors, like you can try if you want to, but I think it will likely end in a scheduled C or in a C-section regardless if you schedule it or not. Mm -hmm. But there's a chance you could have a successful, you know, vaginal birth if you try. Just depends how much you want that. And I was like, honestly, I don't want that. Yeah. Not for the risk. Right. Yeah. And question, not that it's quote unquote easier, but it's more accessible, I guess, to the doctor since they've already done it before. Like it's the same like wound that they open it from or like they say, I'm I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. So actually there is (laughs) increased risk with every C-section. Oh, which is the increase goes up. Yeah. Another reason, another question that they, I talked with my doctor about before deciding a scheduled C-section was how many kids do you want to have? Gotcha. Um, mm. They asked you that? Yes. I see. Um, because typically, and every doctor is going to be different. This is such a sensitive subject. But my doctor said right. she doesn't recommend having more than three. Mm. So if I mm. want to have three children or less, scheduled C-section is a great choice. If I'm wanting to have eight kids, they don't recommend doing eight C-sections. Mm-hmm. And with after the second and subsequent C-sections, it is harder and harder to do a vaginal birth. Gotcha. So having uh. one... It's easier to then try because the risk is uterine rupture. Gotcha. It's because it's been cut open. R- right. 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 So, and that's a, obviously a, a huge, huge medical issue. Yeah. Right. So, um, if you're wanting to have multiple, like a lot of kids, they recommend, you know, not doing a scheduled. Right. Steven and I think we're probably done with mm-hmm. two, mm-hmm. but we're leaving the door open for three because they also can tie your tubes fairly easily to my understanding while doing a c-section because you're already open you're already open whereas usually it's like a really complicated you know because are are you going through the how do you get there no you said i you You just cut cut. you open yeah a girl i don't know (laughs) shit i don't know anything i'm like are they going through the hole like how are we just i don't know yeah Yeah. okay 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 okay. i mean i have not had my tubes tied so maybe well right but i don't clearly yeah (laughs) exactly Mm -hmm. (laughs) so we think we're probably done but not so certain that we're gonna you know Tie them up while they're in there, mm-hmm. right? Um, but if we have if if we have three, that's it for sure, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that word, would be word, word. tie them up. So right, that was right. another thing where I'm like, I feel comfortable having a C section because I know I'm not having more than three, mm-hmm. right, 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 yeah. right, right, right. But I don't know if I told you this. I'm getting an IUD at my six week postpartum visit. Oh, oh period. No. Snap. Period. Snaps. Except I <gasps> hopefully won't have one. Oh right. my gosh. <laughs> well, let us know. I was just because. I have had back and forths about IUD. Okay. Because I want to, but I'm like, ah, I just don't. Like, I don't want to do. I want it, but I don't want the act of doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I don't I, I'm do scared it. for it because I've heard yeah. it's super painful. I know. I've heard it too. But, but I heard it's like so, yeah. like so good. The one I'm getting lasts for seven years. Right. Oh, wow. That's great. So, because that's the thing. If we do have a third, we want a big gap. So to me, to be, like, to go back on, like, oral contraceptives or something like that. Right. Long term, like, that's a lot. Yeah. If I can just one day of pain to not have to worry about it for seven years. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. That's that's the the thing that's getting me. I'm like, that's a long time. Yeah. And by seven years from now. We will for it, we will for sure know if we wanted to have another one. It totally. would be it would be before the seven years, I think. Right, right. But you can get it taken out. Right. So, well, keep us updated I on know, that journey as I well. Know. We'll I do. Yeah, I please know. do. Damn. Will, yeah. I didn't realize how I did not have plans on asking all those questions, no. but it was like happening, and I was like, "Wait, hold on, how the fuck? Please, does right. any of this happen?" Yeah, I'm happy to answer all the questions. I think it's so fascinating. Mm-hmm. I love talking about like pregnancy and birth and. Yeah. All of that. It's like crazy. It's really wild when it's, you think about it. Uh, like there's so much happening. This is such a journey and I'm truly already prepared for her to come back and give us the Even story more play tea. by play. Sierra, yeah. I'm yes. sorry to you. Write yeah. all the notes in your mind. I'm like, I need a forget. play by play. I'm over here at the edge of my seat already. I'm like, oh my God. I know. Is, I will. What a journey. Yeah. Like, and it, and, and. Wow. Dude, I know. You're so strong. Oh my God. Number one, I just want to say that. Like, truly. invincible. Truly. Like, what a superwoman for doing this. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like the women, 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 number women, one, <laughs> period. Women, number one, women giving birth. Oh my God. So strong. And like, yeah. Like, you know. Dude, I, some shit that I feel like I have like empathy for, but I don't actually understand. Like, I can't, like, 
make it make so much sense in my head. But I'm like, for sure, because yeah, and like my, maybe my body could do it too. But I'm like, but after that, I'm like, I don't have the thoughts. Yeah. Like, and I, and then I'm like, I, not me though. Yeah. That sounds crazy. Like, th- when I think about it, it genuinely feels like that seems like so not just monumental, but like you have to be so strong and like, uh, I'm not even pregnant or anything near like that. But sometimes with Ryan, I'm like, oh my God, I would like, I, me, this person right here would have to give birth right. to like the human if we wanted to have a human. Right. And, like, and I'm like, and that just doesn't like, it's so hard to like, it's so hard to conceptualize pick, yeah, in your head. Cause like, like you can say it, right? Like right. you'd be like, oh yeah, I want to have kids and blah, 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 blah. And I want to give birth and like, whatever. Yeah. And, but like, what does that mean? Like, what does that mean? I mean, us you alone know? being like, yeah, Sierra's going to go yeah. on maternity leave. And I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> but then I'm like, wait a minute, let's follow She's up about on the to tail. fucking yeah. do the most right now. Yeah. yeah. That's like, you know what Steven said all the time, like in the immediate aftermath of birth and like early postpartum, he was like, I can't believe everyone does this. Like every parent that you've ever seen did this. Right. This feels uniquely hard and crazy. Like, this must have never happened to anyone in the history of the world. Mm-hmm. But then you realize this is the history of the world. Right. Is people doing this? Right. And how, and people are just doing people it. People are just doing day. it. And you're Dude, like, and I, honestly, I sometimes gaslight myself <gasps> and be like, well, obviously it's fine because there are bitches that have 45 kids I like clearly agree. it's not that deep but i'm like i guess i myself as well me like but it but seems it is. like yeah. it seems that deep yeah. yeah like you telling me the story i'm like i'm what like, a strong woman i, I, I could i, I like, she's gonna not not do that again but she's gonna have another one like she was like yeah let's run it back yeah, yeah. <laughs> like run it back <laughs> oh my god I think that's why the brain blocks out so much of the birth and postpartum trauma mm. because it has to. Otherwise, would I really do it again? Right, right. right. The but then like, you hold your baby right. and you cuddle them yeah. and you yeah. bond with them and you're like, oh my god, I'd do this five million times over. And that's what they say. Every mother does. Yeah, too. I oh, know. Oh god. After they said the craziest story about, right. like, yeah, they're like, yeah, and I was died. I was in an, an but ele- I'd do it again. <laughs> and I was in an elevator, trapped in an elevator. I couldn't. Yeah. I was rushed, and I'm like. Oh my god! Yeah, and then I gave yeah. birth right there on the floor. I'm like, how, dude? Dude, when my mom told me when she had me, first of all, at 18, an icon, a legend, could never be me. Holy so shit! Strong. I don't even know what that. Bless, bless her. Um, she was like, yeah, I was ten. Uh, you were ten days late, so that was a lot, and all this stuff, whatever. She's talking about it, and I'm like, well, that sounds crazy. And she was like, yeah, and then for whatever reason, um, 11 years later, decided to do it again, and then again, a year and a half after that, I was like, are you okay? <laughs> and because she was like, she was like no. <laughs> She's like, but I love you guys all so much, obviously, and it's fine, and it's fine. And I was like, oh, my God. Also, now that I think about it, I don't think she had any C-sections, which is crazy. Also, so much time in between. Also, yeah. that would have probably stressed me. It's one thing to have a kid, right? And then 11 years later to be like, I'm just thinking right now about all the moms when they are like, and I birthed you. And I, this, no wonder mothers like are like, and I gave birth right. to you. Like right. I, you, you don't even you know, don't know the, what I did. Right. Yeah. Like to bring you into this world. And how could you be so ungrateful? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. You know? right, right. I birthed you. And that's what they use. And you don't understand. You're like, oh yeah. And you birthed me. And what? No girl. You, thank you. Yeah. Thank right. you. Cause that so shit must have been on crazy. my birthday. When I, it's like my birthday, I will literally text my mom and be like, thank you again for what you had to go through. Like Aww, et cetera, many years so ago. Sweet. And she's always like, Oh, and I would a million times over. And I'm like, I know, but, but you, you really did one. that. Yeah. Cause yeah. me now, now listening to this, I'm like, mom, I, I listened. Sierra told me about when she had to give birth and it was crazy. And I'm sorry to you. And I want to thank <laughs> and, you. Know, and I'm sorry for every time I was an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 As fuck. <laughs> I do feel like it made me closer with my mom going through that. Mm. And also having her there with me right. and constantly being like, Oh yeah, you did this. For me. Mm-hmm. Like, that's right, crazy. Right. right. Yeah. And also, like, I feel like I you, you just saying that now made me, like, think of how if you, you know, if you do choose to have kids and you're, you know, and you're, you and your mom are, like, in each other's lives, how then you're, like, maybe you're, like, both married and, like, oh, that's cute. Like, her friend. You guys, like, become, like, li- in the same, yeah, as you like, grow circle. Older, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because obviously when you're a young little girl, you're not relating as much because you're not like, I don't have a husband. I don't have any. But as you grow with life, the more you're like, it's me slowly becoming my mother. I (laughs) mean like, oh, 
And you used to like a boy, my dad, right? And you used to like him, and I'm sure you were doing some dumb shit to get his attention. Oh, embarrassing girl, oh, right, yeah. right, right. And then you got married, and oh my God, and then you got a house, and then you got a kid, and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, right, you're just like me for real. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> when your parents become humanized for you, mm-hmm. that like just changes everything. Yeah, you're like, oh shit. You're but, like, oh, you also don't know anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. What's that bite size right now that's running around? It's like, it, this is your mom's first time doing life too. And yes. I'm like, Oof. Yep. And you're you're like, so right. right. I know. I Let's love have you. more grace with the moms. I know. It's hard. God, moms are unstoppable. Truly. And thank you for everything you do, mothers. Truly. Thank you. Truly. Truly. Mother's Day is next month. It is. Right? And yeah. this time, I get to have this baby out of me for Mother's Day. Last time, oh, it was that's like, right. I was super, super pregnant. And then Steven got to have a real Father's Day. Because oh, Grace right. was like two or three <laughs> weeks old. I was like, All right. I guess I barely missed the cutoff. Uh, right. Well, this time, you'll yep, have Yep, this two. time. Baby will be here. Oh, Aww. my God. And uh, during my maternity leave, I am, as long as recovery is going well, I am going to pop back in for just one, you know, postpartum episode, give the girls all the tea on everything that happened. Um, so then we can rehash all of this and all your questions right. with round two. Excellent. Tea. Love that. I cannot wait. Obviously, I hope it goes amazing. Thank you. And it's going to be amazing and beautiful. Can't wait to see the baby. Whoa! Well, sorry to spend the whole first part of this episode talking about my previous birth. Because Necessary. Because that is not what we're doing today. I'm I sorry. needed to know. Those were the questions and the answers <laughs> yeah, yeah. I needed answered before yes. this. We, yeah, we needed to do our Q&A before we got to their oh, Q&A. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I agree. Um, because, uh, yeah, if you did not get this from the title, we are doing a Q&A mm-hmm. to send off Miss Sierra to have ourselves a really great, wonderful 20-whatever episode. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you guys submitted these on the Instagram, so if you're not following us on Instagram, go do that and you can participate in the next Q&A or whatever we do after this. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to see the episodes while I'm on maternity leave. Yay! Like I'm going to be sitting there w- watching the episode of you guys breastfeeding and <laughs> It's going like, to be like when your mom is watching you on TV and she's got the, the phone onto the kid. She's like, oh, yes, I'm watching you guys. We're going to get a slack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the episode, Hi, ladies. You look totally. gorgeous. <laughs> no, when I got to finally watch the Truth or Drink that you guys did, I was loving it. I was having so much yeah. fun. Oh, good, good, good. I always review the episode, like the episodes on two times speed because like I've lived it. And that one, right. I was like. One time. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I want to savor this. Yeah. Honestly, 0. 0.5. Right, slower. <laughs> slower. And subtitles, please. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. All right. Shall we take some questions? Yes. yes. I think we shall. Be gentle with us, Jessica, at the beginning, please. <sighs> <sighs> okay, well, here's a big old softball. Uh, how are you guys doing? Aww. Mm. Aww. Thank you for asking. Uh, good. Yeah. I'm pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Sierra? Um, I'm tired. Right. My yeah. body's sore. Right. But I'm happy. Good. Good. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to be here in this current moment on the couch with you guys. I'm a little emo about it being our last episode for a bit. I know. Okay. Um, and I'm really happy with, like, where I'm at and trying to savor this last bit of time before baby's here. Yeah. Yeah, Just yeah really- your life's about to change. Hella. Yeah. Totally. That's crazy. Grace is going to have a that? little sister. Yeah. I know. I know. Like, she's I'm gonna, like, everything, sister. this like, whole she's spot, little, like, it's yeah. about to be fully different. Yeah. yeah. Speaking um, of, uh, a fantastic question, by the way. I'm going to put them for our, just our audio listeners. I will be pulling our grabbed questions on screen. But if P and Ryan could name Sierra's baby, what would they name her? Oh, oh, hold okay, on. Okay, yeah. Who put that question? Because snaps to yeah, you. Yeah, that's, that's a great question. I'm dying to know. Yeah, okay. their username Ooh. is Nicole Meows. Ooh. Oh. The cat's Period. meow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me Let think, us let think. think. And if it's good enough, she could choose to go with this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's still time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not holding she baby arms mind. yet. Yeah. Let's, let's. So let's work really hard. Yeah. Okay. Names to beat. Uh, I think Grace tried to name the baby. What sad baby him? Oh yeah, uh-huh. damn it! And Prince that was Eric. Prince Eric. Eric with a W. But Queen. Grace actually did name this baby. Oh my god, that's because so the name that we decided on is the one that she suggested. Oh my right. god! So right, right. it's not sad baby him or Prince Eric. Bummer. But, okay. Bummer. Bummer. Well, <laughs> man, Let me think. I know. What is the sweet girl from Pokemon's name that has um? Togepi? Misty. Misty. <laughs> Are you going to name the baby Togepi? No. no. <laughs> I mean, dead. Togepi is kind of cute. But That's no. cute. But I was just thinking, what's her name? And because she's so cute. And I'm like, Misty. 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 That's cute. I kind of like that. That is cute. Or like, Melody. 
Ooh. Ooh. Or Melanie. Oh, I like these. Oh, that's cute. I also like Melody for, like, music. Yeah. Right. I think that that's so pretty. I literally know a set of twins, and their names are Melody and Harmony. Oh. Adorable. And they're, like, fully grown women. They're, like, older than me. That's but I'm like, you guys are so cute. That's cute as shit. It's that's so, so, cute. so cute. I know, I know. My name's Melody, and this is my sister Harmony. Harmony. Oh, that's adorable. Okay. Genius. Also. I'm having twin girls. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, it's coming to me. I can feel it. Okay. I'm thinking about like nature. So it's giving like It's oh. coming to me. Hold on. <laughs> For the audio listeners, Ryan has had her eyes closed oh, this whole yeah. time. She's Possessed. frantically tapping her fingers and is moving around erratically in her camera. <laughs> She's yes. trying to summon I her am, answer. <laughs> because I can, I, it's so close, but I can't like, I keep wanting to just say forest, not forest. It's not forest, but it's like. Like fern, like nature kind of. Yeah, like yeah. river or something. Oh, oh stop. I yeah, like that. Yeah, like river. I do like, I like river. river. Yeah. I should have done a baby name consult with you guys. Maybe. That's what I'm saying. We're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Misty River. Oh, there's the whole name. There you go. Perfect. Misty River Schultz. Love it. <laughs> you know, my name was supposed to be Summer Breeze. Not First the- name Summer, middle name Breeze. How dare <gasps> you? You've told us about Summer, but you never, never mentioned said, I never Breeze? mentioned Breeze. You never mentioned Breeze. There's a reason Breeze. for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, Summer Breeze. But that's kind of cute, though. That like SB. Cute. Yeah. Summer Breeze. Summer and Breeze. That's, yeah, that's, that's kind of cute. It's like giving it. me like word association. It's giving me the same beat as Baja Blast. <laughs> These I'm are my screaming. twins, Baja and Blast. <laughs> Listen, Sierra loves Taco Bell. Maybe yeah, yeah. That. that is so funny. These are good names. I know. I can't, I'm kind of write these it. down if anybody. I know. I mean, you might have a third. I might go write yeah. them down. <laughs> Middle names, right? Right. Um, yeah. Those yeah. are good. Really yeah, great I'm, answer. I'm, I'm gonna stick with River. What about you, Jess? Do you have any great ideas? Um, no, I feel like I'm going to say mine and it's going to feel stupid. Okay. But only because my reason is not like a reason to name your child that for the rest of their life. Uh, <laughs> I feel like as having a daughter, it would be so cute to name them Piper Aww. because of how you and Steven both the like tonal quality of your voices and stuff. But I can imagine you guys be like, Grace, Piper. Oh, like the double syllable. You know what I mean? That's cute. Yes. I, I just do think it's a cute that. name. It is. The birds are cute. The Pied Piper's cute. Right. I like it. I love it. When Great. you when you that. were giving your explanation and then you heard the P, I heard the P sound, my brain immediately went, she's going to say Padme. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> Good Actually, one. I think you should name her BB Anakin. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I unironically had Anakin on my baby names list for a boy for a little while. Really? And I want to know how was how did Steven feel about that? I don't. I think this was like a little pre Steven. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, oh, this okay, was like okay, okay, he didn't okay. even know about. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this was like I am like just thinking about baby names. I'm like, oh my god, if I name my baby Anakin, and she's like Annie, Annie. <laughs> Little Annie. Oh, so cute. No, it's cute. It's really cute. I, I support it. I know. It is cute. <laughs> All right, the third. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm here for Anakin as a middle name. I do like yeah, it. I feel like enough of... time has passed for people who are going to grow up as adults. Yes. It's it's such... And they'll appreciate it if they know. But it's not so like, Anakin, you know. I think it kind of is. <laughs> but you know what? But for a middle name, though, like you're not yes. getting called that. But if somebody totally. asks, you're like, oh, that's kind of badass. You know what name Strong. we did like that's kind of like that, though? That's like Star Wars, but not Star Wars, but also biblical was Luke. Cute. Oh, but we T, liked, T, like, T. Luke for Star Wars. But mm-hmm, then, like, right. no one would be like, oh, you're named after Star Wars. Right. It's not right. C-3PO. Right. Right. Or they Jar Jar. Like, Jar Jar. <laughs> <laughs> right. And for short, call me Jar Jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just go by their initials for the rest of their life. JJ. Right. No, um, yeah, yeah. What does JJ stand for? You don't, don't want to know. JJ <laughs> Binks. JJ Binks. <laughs> okay, our next question is, who is the most likely to survive a stranded island situation? And why is it Sierra? Also... The username on this one is absolutely pull up with boyfriend. <laughs> we see you. A troll. Ryan, thank you. <laughs> Bye. I don't know if I believe it, but thank you. I, I fully, he's so right. I 120% agree. That's why he said, it. he's like, yeah. I'm asking, but rhetorically knowing these two girls. Because and I was going to say, Sierra? because he's, we've never done Stranded Island, but we've done Joshua Tree. We've done Vegas <laughs> together. And he's like, they won't survive. Yeah. It's no. got to be Sierra. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
rhetorical. And he's, yeah, it was a rhetorical question, but correct. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's so funny. The problem is, I don't know if I could keep it together mentally. mentally. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think I might be, what's that that old movie where he's got like Wilson the Wilson. coconut? Oh, um, uh, sh- uh, sh- uh, shipped away. Cast away. Cast away. Yeah. Yeah. Shipped away. Yeah. Cast away. Flushed away. Yeah, yeah. Flushed away. Great film. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, so mentally you would just be. Yeah. I worry. I worry that I wouldn't be able to keep it together mentally. Honestly, mm. I think if I was by myself, I might have a better chance because I would be like, I have no choice but to keep it together. Right. But if it was all of us together, I think I might just crumble. Sierra. The three of that? us are on a desert island. I'm sorry, but I'm looking to Sierra. Sorry I, yeah, to you. I, I'm so sorry. No. I, so we're not gonna make it. We're yeah. not gonna. I don't the have the three the of us skillset. take each other's hands. We just jump yeah. in. We just <laughs> opposite. I feel like if I was alone, I'd go insane. But if there were other people, then you can do like the mom thing, where you're like, no, no, no. That's true. Right. Maybe, Maybe you could delegate. Also, like, okay, you need to do this yeah. because I need to focus on this. Somebody else do this, and then we can work together. You can and I need to be told manage what to do. the island. <laughs> Sierra, we'll get a the, task management system. Listen, all the Survivor you have watched, and you're right. telling me you're telling you have us no it, back. <laughs> I don't know. She's the, like, there's no hope for us. I know because we won't survive. I'm, I'm like thinking. I'm like, what would I go off of? I would probably just use like the knowledge I have from like minor Girl Scouts, which also is <laughs> not a lot. B- basic. There won't be any cookies on the island. To no sell. fucking cookies on yeah, the island. Yeah. <laughs> oh, would you like to watch, b- buy a box of dosey dos? No, <laughs> no. I'm hungry. Yeah. Um, and pitching a tent. I definitely know that my co-leader assists with that. Like that. We did. <laughs> none of us earned that yeah. respectfully to our troop. I appreciate the compliment, Ryan. Um. I, I'm honored that all of you guys as well have faith in me because maybe I just maybe I just need someone to believe in me more than I believe in myself. Well, Boom. bitch, you got us. Yeah. <laughs> because if you are trying to believe in us, you're wrong. And and, and we're not going to make it. And my boyfriend has clearly already he been like, and my girl, my girl and her best friend, bad. No. Nope. <laughs> Useless. And, and you know what? When we do go camping, he is the one to, like, pitch the tent, start the fire, feed us, make sure we have water, yeah. give us the hand sanitizer. So, in I'm retrospect, telling you, Joshua Tree, I was just standing there. He looked at us and we're like, And oh, I was like, ladies. what is it that you want? It's <laughs> like, survive, do? what survival skills do we have? Ryan's like, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Literally, I was like, I don't. I, um, I've never developed First of all, set. I would never be in a situation in which I would have to do this. Like, <laughs> I'm here because for fun. And my question is, how did I get to this deserted island where we like tricked into like some like a brand deal? And then <laughs> <laughs> and all the tart trick I was gonna say to Bora Bora. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Surprise, but no one's there. Yeah. Or like whatever. And we're all just like, <gasps> oh my god, what are we gonna what do? Do? We do? It's what? it's it's 20 whatever on a desert island. <laughs> and you would have to eat fish, you know that, right? You would have to yeah. eat and catch fish. What are we gonna eat? You're gonna starve? You're not gonna touch a fish? Simply pass away. Yeah, see? <laughs> Look, and then we're done. What Why do we would do? that be the craziest scam, though? Like a fake brand trip. E- it's just giving fire fest. I was yeah. just about to say that. TBT to fire fest. What a time. Fire, That's the, the, a, I should have said that was one of my Roman empires, because I think about fire fest yeah. a lot. Did that happen just this past year, or was it? No, no this that was, was like, like five many years, years ago. ago. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 This was like 20, like... 17 you know what then maybe like I'm thinking about the recent one that happened where like they sent a bunch of people and then it wasn't like what they thought it was gonna there be there was a recent mm. like it's like a Coachella yeah. kind of thing yeah Some kind of vibe, thing yeah, yeah something like that okay I thought it was that but cool yeah honestly if you wanna just really get it back into the Firefest, just watch the Hulu documentary and the yes. Netflix one they oh. are so good I, I re-watch them like every two years but watch the so Hulu good. one first watch the Hulu one first <laughs> I've never seen it oh my I'm literally god. gonna watch Let's it watch. I don't it's even know what so you're talking about so good so good so good okay Hulu yep thank you Thank you. Bye, fast. Gotcha. Okay, our next question from Madeline Geiger. Uh, if High School Musical was set in 2024, which of the main cast would have the most TikTok followers? Oh. Pick wow. one. Should we say it on three? Because to me, there's one clear there's answer. There's one clear answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one. Sharpay. Oh! Who did you say? What did you just say? I was going to say Zac Efron. Well, that's well. not someone in High School Musical, but that's okay. Troy Bolton is what I think you probably oh, should have said. you're right. Oh, my God. I'm Who sorry. Who is Zac Efron? I called him by his legal government name. name. Yeah, government <laughs> name. You're so right, though, about the Sharpay Evans, and I, that was silly of me to not even... Th- Z- 
Zach. No. Troy, Troy mm. would have the Instagram followers. Mm. But not because he's like doing anything, but just because he's like popular. Okay. And he would have Instagram followers. But like TikTok, you have to like create content, actually. Right. Yeah. And Sharpay would be giving us content. Sharpay left giving right. content. Get ready with me to go to the theater. Get ready with me to the Oh my God, girl. Style this piece. Mm-hmm. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. She would give Backstage, it. she's doing QA. She's live. Well, I'm yeah, getting but, ready. I mean, we could also she the girl that could give her a run for her money and they probably have beef is Ms. Um I know her na- real name is Vanessa Hudgens, but in the Gabriella. Gabriella, because we know that Ms. Hudgens likes to go live. She likes to. Yeah, but that's Ms. Hudgens. Again. This is not, this is, we're talking about Gabriella Montez. We're not talking about But Vanessa if she's Hudgens, trying to fit into who the Who is school. pregnant, by the way. Yes. <gasps> Sorry, yes. she's no. pregnant. She's pregnant. She is. She, she uh, yeah. She came on the on the what are they called? The Oscars. And was she, like, she just Who's got married too. She just got married. Cute man too. Real cute. Mm-hmm. I am so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. His, who, I don't, don't know, know his him. name. I don't think he's like an act. I don't think he's like a celebrity. Oh, okay. I think he's is a he? baseball player. Hang on. Oh, oh an athlete. I absolutely Googled that last night when I couldn't. He's cute. Asleep. He's super cute. But yeah, they're pregnant. They just got married. I knew she had like a fresh boyfriend, but I didn't know. Cole Tucker. Oh. Cold yeah, I, I was know. left on when she was dating um, Austin, what's Butler. Austin Butler. Yeah, oh, yeah. Shame. Oh, devastation. Listen, ten years of her life <laughs> down the drain. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you know who else from the High School Musical cast might be an underdog with the most followers? Yeah, Zeke. Tell me he wouldn't be like a binging with Babish, mm. dude. He, the cooking content would give, and he's got so much personality, and he's hot. Yeah, he's hot. He's like sweet, charismatic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. You're you're right. And he'd have a, a shtick. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah he would yeah, have yeah. his niche, and he'd yeah. be strong in his niche. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. yes. But I do think still I, Sharpay I think would. Sharpay. Yeah. Because she would just pump out curate, the content, curate, curate, always, and it would be aesthetically pleasing. Yep. She'd use great font, great yep. trending audio. God, mm-hmm. she'd be. If anything, she'd use her own audio. You know. Yeah. She's she's, she's singing mm-hmm. in her audio. Absolutely. For sure. For sure. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But actually, as we're here, I think that now's the time to open up about what I wanted to tell you guys. Oh, oh please. <laughs> what? So during the month of February was Valentine's Day and Zac Efron posted on his Instagram like a like a brand deal type thing with like baking pancakes. And he was like, okay. from my heart to yours. Hi, I'm Zac Efron, blah, blah, blah. And I remember like commenting and be like, this reached the proper de- or like this reached its demographic or whatever. Right. I commented. I don't even know why I felt compelled to say that. But there I was. Well, that comment has gotten me into a little bit of stuff because it keeps getting liked and keeps getting like all this. It has like hundreds of likes on it. And now I'm getting direct messages that I actually want to read to you because obviously. And, and, here, and here's <laughs> what the thing. Are you talking about what? Right now? I got a message saying, hello, queen. Good day to you. I am the personal assistant to the icon, Zac Efron. He saw your profile on Instagram and is interested in you. Would you be interested <gasps> in knowing him personally? <laughs> Hold on. There's another one. Hi, I'm Mary. As a member of Zac Efron's social media management team, he asked us to conduct a survey on Instagram on the most common comments and profiles. Uh, t- uh, turned out that you were one of the most common. One of the where was personal. Please, I will contact you. He would like to speak to you personally and express express his gratitude. <laughs> Not these scammers. This is the scam that gets us millennials. Whereas, like our grandparents, they're like, fill out your social security right, number here, the and they're African like, African prince, he needs okay. money or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And we're dude. like, Zac Efron wants to talk because I'm betting you, I would bet well, on I it. I low key. <laughs> That's so many people fall for that. I low key fell for it the first one, and before you got to the end, I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? But then I was like, oh wait, just kidding. I but knew I it was fake it. because I had received multiple. <laughs> right, right, right. From his social media team, his personal assistant. Right. I know him personally. I had no idea we were running a Zac Efron scam. And now I have Zac Efron accounts following me. Wow. Like from one comment. From that one comment. And it just has not like died off. And I will probably open my Instagram and it's always like a notification of someone else like following it. And then... Yeah, that's so, uh, so go on to Instagram and I, literally still his last post was from Valentine's Day and he literally is holding like a pizza and there's my stupid comment and also a viewer of 20 whatever's like Paloma had I know I'd find you here I'm like, oh. <laughs> all to say it's got a lot of eyes on me okay so the personal assistant t- turns out Zach Efron wants to speak with me personally, personally so if you, you have anything to report I will be relaying it back to Mr. Efron okay. yeah, and, and his personal assistant his social media team his yes. best friend his right. mom <laughs> His cousin. Wow. Guys, wow. What? That is what? hilarious. I know. So, I, and so ridiculous. I'm sharing with you guys because who else am I going to tell? No, right. <laughs> That's crazy. Right. That is crazy. I can't believe you've been sitting on this information I know. for months. 
<laughs> yeah, I have never. I was like, what is she about to say right now? I thought that the likes would just like die down. I was just like, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, no, yeah, right, for like, sure. ha, ha, ha. But now it's again. I just got these messages maybe two weeks ago or like a week ago or something. And Actually, this was in February. Y- yes. So I commented. He. It was like a Valentine special. Literally, he was like baking pizzas shaped like a heart. So and he was like, and from my heart to yours. And I was like, mm, this reaches demographic. Well, too bad. Well, it did. It did. It did. And did. And did. Okay. And now the personal assistance. So anyways, just wanted to share that with wow. you. Wow. Okay. So if we can get me to meet Zac Efron, ladies. Right. I'm I close. mean, <laughs> I, one step closer. Yep. All right. Wow. That is my truth. That's crazy. That really is crazy. Paloma, thank you for sharing <laughs> Truly, that, that was necessary. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to think about that. That's going to be my new Roman Empire. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, our next question is, which 20-whatever girl... Gives the most cunt. Ooh. Who's serving the most cunt? I Honestly, sound so out of place saying that. I think I think it's between me and Jessica. <laughs> so <laughs> so it, true. Here's what I was so gonna true. ask. No, as so someone who like still thinks of like cunt as like a, a bad word and an insult, right. I, I know it's like not anymore. Mm-hmm, right. What do we? What does it mean? It just means like serve, like giving, like who yeah. is like showing up and you're like, damn bitch, it's giving cunt. Like, yeah, uh. I agree. Mm-hmm. It's between mm-hmm. Ryan and Jessica. Yeah, I think I am a cunt, and that Ryan <laughs> is such a cunt. I think what I do, I unintentionally serve it, and I think you most organically serve it together. Farm cunt to table, sisters. Ryan. <laughs> Farm to table. <laughs> Oh, you're holding Jessica on a platter. Yes. <laughs> She's serving cunt and you open the platter. It's Jessica Lang. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sierra, if Jeff Probst ever retires, should Survivor stop or who should host instead? Okay. If it's more than like five to seven years in the future, I think it should stop. I think let it, mm-hmm. let it be what it was. Okay. If it's sooner than that, I say we keep it going. And I think one of the greats should come back and host it. Oh. Like mm. Parvati or Cochran or Boston Rob. Like one mm-hmm. of the original, like Sari would be amazing. Mm-hmm. One of the like r- big survivor icons mm. who can like do his job. Because that's the thing. No one can do it like Jeff. Well. Of like, right. no keep, like keeping the questions going right. and knowing what to say. Right. So. Yeah. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nominate Miss Lauren Ashley Beck. Oh. To come back. She is a survivor. She was a, I believe, top three or top four mm. uh, on Survivor. And she's also an influencer. Oh. Now. And she is amazing. She is one of the nicest content creators I've ever met. I, like, totally fangirled when I met her. Oh, my Aww. God. And then I've seen her at, like, so many different places. And she's always so nice and wonderful. Yeah. And uh, she also, like, hosts red carpet stuff. So she oh. could, like, oh. nominate it. Perfect. It. Love it. Yeah. Love do that. Everything. Yeah. Period. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our next question is, do you guys ever wish to sit in a different spot on the podcast couch? I really want to know the answer to this. <laughs> no. I don't I think, think so. I have the perfect spot. Because I feel like I can see everything. Like, there's nothing I'm not, you know. Oh, I can see yeah. everything. I hear here. you on that because I do miss the monitor. So mm-hmm. if I had a better view of the monitors, that'd be great. But I feel like now comfortable, like, in my spot. So I'm like, right. oh, I don't know. I haven't even thought about switching. I like it here. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think it would feel weird if I sat somewhere else. But like, if, if we swatched spots, we would be like. Yeah. <laughs> if I did, I think I would want to be there because you have the, the most view. even view. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you got the good view, girl. I do. <laughs> um, to Ryan, in that good view, uh, what is your favorite Justin Bieber era? Oh, my God. This is hard. Well, it's not hard. <laughs> it's actually not hard. Um, but what I will say is a little bit problematic, but I can say it. Sorry. It's with, it's when Justin Bieber was in his light skin era. That was my favorite. It was when he was, like, doing the most and in his, like, R&B bag. Woo! In 2014, I think. 2014, Some hit songs from this era were? The whole album. Um, the the Journals album, very good. And that was just, the, that was simply the best. That was also like right, right after he was Bad Boy Bieber, which I mm. ate up. Was that when he was doing like the Calvin Klein ad? Mm-hmm. Was it that era? Mm. A little bit before. Okay. A little bit okay. before. But yeah, it was yeah. like definitely when he was like, I'm getting hella tattoos. That's what I was going to ask. Was it tattoo I'm, time? My shirt's off a lot and I'm like cursing people out and all that stuff. I was right. eating it up. So the next question is, how does Paloma plan and afford to go on all the cool vacations she's gone on? <laughs> well, 
I think, honestly, both answers stand in the first one, which is like my boyfriend, plan and afford. He plans them. He's so type A. He makes sure that everything is in a PowerPoint and we know what we're doing every moment of the day. Love you, baby. Um, so he'd be planning them. And also, I am a leech. He travels for work. And if there's an opportunity for me to go with him since I work remote as well, I will literally just like join the fun. And he is so lucky enough to have family literally in Japan and Hawaii. So when I go to visit his actual family, it looks like I'm going to Japan or Hawaii. Off and it's vacation. like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, I'm so lucky. So that trip to Hawaii, that trip to Japan was like because his family's there and all that right. stuff. So. And again, I just jump on all those business things. Yeah. You guys. yeah. <laughs> what a combo. Right. A partner who not only gets to travel for work, right. but then that the other half can travel with them because of job flexibility. Yeah. And that he's a planner. Yes. Right. Like yes. world traveler. Yeah. Right. Literally. And before when like before COVID and everything, I wasn't working remote. So I was like not able to join him as much and stuff right. like that. And now finally in this stage, I'm like, oh my gosh, well, luckily I'm remote and I can join him. Yeah. Okay, next question. If y'all were the Jonas Brothers, who would be each Jonas? Oh, oh. this is good. Do, do you guys have strong opinions on any of them? Oh, I don't know. I think, think I feel like I am very strongly Joe. Okay, I support Especially that. in his <laughs> problematic areas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I feel like he would be the most to say something ridiculous, and I would then say something ridiculous also. I think you're Nick then, mm. and I'm Kevin. Because Nick is, like, soulful. Right. I feel like he's the more, like, Has, like, the kind face. Is, like, a little sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. And Kevin's, like... You underestimate uh, Kevin, uh, and then you find out that he's actually the best one. (laughs) I know. The more we keep going in life... And and Kevin's the dad. He's the best. And he's so caring for his team. Like, you can see, like, even those clips of him, like, moving, like, the water bottle so he doesn't step on it. I'm like... You know? And Jess is Frankie. Yep. Jess is Frankie. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, T. Oh, my God. Should we do that as maybe for Halloween? That would be kind yes. of funny if we get, like, those kind of faux hawk type of hair, oh like, TBT, God. like, so curly funny. one. Yeah. What are your personal goals for the year not related to careers? Mm. Mm. Uh, I wanted to read a lot of books this year, and I have been reading a lot of books this year. That's amazing. So that's Love been that. good, and that's been, like, just a just-for-me thing. Mm-hmm. Right. And also has taken me away from my phone so much Mm. because usually when I get a little bit of time to decompress especially being you know pregnant and uncomfortable I'm like I just want to lay in bed and then what would that turn into scrolling all right but now it's like I just want to lay in bed and And I'm gonna read my book oh that's so nice I do love that I think for me this year I'm going to continue with small movements every day Mm. just small I don't want it to be like, oh, it's too much. No, no, just a little bit. I feel like at the end of the year, I want to have like a clear morning and night routine. Ooh. Ooh. Like I can be like, okay, this is what I do in the morning and this is what I do at night. And I know that. And that's what it is. And once you do it enough times that it becomes a routine, then you're not even actively thinking about it. Yeah. Like I want to get to that point. Yeah. Reading, movement, and uh, routine. routine? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. We are going to be unstoppable. I know. And I can't. We're going to check in at the end of the year. Okay. Where okay. we're at. Deal. With this. And I'm still adding read a book by the end of the year. Oh, which yes. Will be that's still breaker. on there. That will be <laughs> ice <breaker. laughs> And I'm trying to get it like done before Sierra comes back after maternity. So I can be like, you oh. give me the tea and I want to give you what I thought about this juicy blue. Wait, that's would actually you guys a good idea. do that for me? I, I, actually would, yeah. I will. I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do, I, it. Yeah, we'll we'll do, do it. it. What is your dream sponsorship for the pod? Rooting for you guys always. That is so sweet, Marissa. Thank you. Thank oh you. God. Right mm. off the top of my head, I'm thinking Poppy. Oh. Tummy girl troubles. I need that, and I drink it every day. I need poppy in my bag. Please drink poppy. <laughs> White claw, dude. We're yeah. still here. Please, you guys are still here. White claw. I'm trying to think of something unique here, but I th- once you said White claw, my brain is like it has to be White claw. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has to. So I'm doubling down. White dude, claw. We have we we have to. Especially once I'm done being pregnant. Right. Yeah. We have we're to somehow crack like, open a cold one. Yeah. That's where we're, we're gonna we have to pitch to them and be like, look, we this are this very invested. Pitch. Yeah. We have always loved white claws. <laughs> Sierra's gonna have a baby. She hasn't been able to drink white claws. She's gonna come back and we're gonna crack it open and it's gonna be great and everybody's gonna love it. That's Please. you know what mine should be right now? Capri Sun. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Capri Sun, sponsor the pod. That's Gee. a good one. Good. <laughs> Um, our last question, will you still post consistently when Sierra gives birth? 
We will. We will be posting every week, every Wednesday, just like we do now. But it'll just be Paloma and I's wonderful faces. Whoop, whoop. Sorry to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So please make sure to watch those and support us. Yes. Support the babies. Do their solo episodes. Yes. Yes. I will be there supporting and watching. Y'all better be there too. We yes. will make you so proud. If I know. you have any topics you'd love for P and Ryan to cover in any yes. of those solo episodes, please drop them below. We'll be keeping an eye out and just we're excited for you to come back. I'm excited to shoot the solo. It's going to be really fun, you guys. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. awesome. Oh, see ya, bro. We're going to miss you. I'm going to miss this <laughs> yeah, a lot. This time means so much to me. when We just get to sit down and yeah. talk and it's one of my favorite things I get to do. I'm so excited because the return, you will have another human with I you. Will. Dude. And I am stoked about it i, I know. will i'm excited i'm excited for you guys to meet her and yes be aunties round two yeah. yes oh, uh, i'm so excited wait. and I, I cannot wait to see what this new season brings yes it's for all amazing. of us it's gonna yeah. be great that's awesome oh, oh my gosh well please that's, give us the last sign up that's I feel like our woo girl minute <laughs> oh, our woo girl yes. minute is that sierra's about to come back and have a wonderful great great birth she's gonna have amazing beautiful wonderful child mm -hmm. and we're gonna have wonderful beautiful amazing episodes yeah yeah Woo! Woo! All around. <laughs> well, I love you guys. Thank you. I'm going to miss so you. Oh, we love you. And I love you guys. And I'm going to miss you too. And I'm going to miss this. So thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. Why is saying this going to make me emotional? Oh, you my said God. no tears. No tears. No tears. And I won't see you next week, but they will. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I will start crying. Bye. 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 Please note that this episode may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products and services. Individuals on the show may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to in this episode.